I woke up with the biggest knot in my neck. It was actually day two of having it, and it's so painful. I am going to wash my face. The cleanser that I've been using is just this Biosense Tea Tree Cleansing Gel. It's super gentle, and I've been using it since I got my micro needling. But I can actually switch back to my like normal um, facial cleanser on Saturday because it would technically be two weeks. One thing I've been doing every day is putting eye drops in because I feel like it just got so dry in a matter of like four days since the weather got so much cooler. Like where I am, it got so much drier. So I have to literally put in eye drops every day. My neck is so sore. Honestly guys, that's all I do to get ready in the morning. It's super simple and super quick. I love something that doesn't have too many steps or doesn't require too many steps and it's just like very simple. So, this is the high school I used to go to. Coffee time. Coffee, coffee, coffee. So next I just pick my outfit for the day. I always put on workout clothes just because it gives me that extra little push to make sure I'm staying active because I find that like once I already have my clothes on, then it's one step in the right direction. Okay, so now I'm gonna get changed, so I'll be right back. Fresh made bed. It's 7 a.m. and it's crazy how it is still dark outside. That's how I know winter's coming. What a beautiful morning. Good morning, guys. 
Hope everyone is having a great start to their morning. I feel so much better now that I've had my sip of coffee and I'm actually learning right now in school. I'm taking this course about drugs and um, like addiction and stuff and it talks about caffeine addiction and how caffeine is a drug and this and that which I never actually saw caffeine as a drug but it's interesting and every time I drink my coffee now I'm reminded that I have a caffeine addiction like an actual caffeine addiction it's just so good <sighs> so today is Friday and on Fridays I don't actually have class I have class Monday to Wednesday, but on Thursday and Friday, normally I would be working. And then during the day, I would use that time to like catch up with any schoolwork that I need to do. So today is gonna be a huge catch up day. I have a ton of reading to do and some work to do and whatnot. So that is what today's gonna be. It's gonna be a catch up day. And I'm gonna show you guys kind of what a day in my life as a college student working from home looks like. So if you guys don't know, I'm in my second last semester of college. So I guess I should have just said my fifth semester. It's a three year program at George Brown and it's a business administration program. I was honestly so nervous going into this semester knowing that it was online. But to be honest, I'm actually finding it pretty smooth. You just need to stay on top of your reading and everything like that. So today I have like tons of reading to do and a few online work um, sheets to do. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna enjoy my coffee, meditate, do my whole morning routine, which is still the same, and then I'm gonna get into working. I just finished up some work. I was doing work for a few hours. Now I'm gonna work out. I need to get my body moving. I need to get my blood flowing. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I just finished working out and I'm just making breakfast. I'm literally having the same thing that I make every day. I have an English muffin with peanut butter, a yogurt, and a banana. So I'm gonna eat my breakfast and then I'm gonna start my work. I've been putting off doing my work all morning. So after I eat, I'm definitely gonna work. I just have my little robo vat cleaning away. Literally the best purchase in the world. Anyways, I'm going to make my breakfast. I like working from home, like doing school from home, but I find that I've been falling more behind just because it's not structured. And I can essentially like make my own schedule as to when I want to finish work and stuff. Like obviously everything has a due date, but as for like when classes start and stuff like that, it's pretty like everything's recorded. So you can go back and like look over content. So everything's online. It's definitely different, but um, right now I'm in a, this is the course I'm in right now, and principles of an e-business, which is gonna be extremely helpful for me, I find, because obviously you guys know I'm trying to make YouTube a potential job one day. So I'm learning a lot of amazing things, and it's quite interesting to say the least. So I'm going to, Focus in on this for a few hours. Eat my breakfast. So it's a little later in the day. So at 12.30. And I 
I've been doing some work for quite some time, but I wanted some lunch. I went to Whataburger and ordered a bagel. Egg salad with red onion, sprouts, and lettuce on an everything bagel. Yum. So that's kind of a simple way of explaining that, but if you want to actually incorporate what you've learned from these two videos into the next session. So I'd like groups to actually respond because I think that it will start jelly. So as one of my electives, I chose to take this course on drug abuse and how it like affects your brain and stuff. And honestly guys, it is so interesting. I have always been obsessed with watching intervention. There's just something that really like intrigues me about addiction and like how it affects people and why people are there and stuff. And like I live downtown Toronto, so every street corner is filled with homeless people and Will says like I always stare at them and I do it because I'm like genuinely interested. I want to find out about this person. What went wrong in your life that made you turn to drugs and stuff like that? I don't know. Is anyone else like that? Like where they're just interested? I genuinely want to sit down with this person and like figure out like what happened and what went wrong. And I'm just learning a lot of interesting things about addiction and different kinds of addiction, what causes addiction, like trauma, childhood trauma, and stuff like that. Super interesting. If you guys are ever in college and have the choice to take this course, I know it's available in Toronto. I don't know if it's available worldwide, but the course is Understanding Drug Use in Canada. Yeah, super interesting. Very, very interesting course.